Hey everybody and welcome! We're back here at Don't Starve once again and we're checking out yet another mod. Today we're going to be checking out a character called... Holy shit. Okay, hold on. Can we get rid of one of these real quick? Actually, I don't need any of these. While we're here, we might as well get rid of all of these saves. Um, I'm not exactly sure how far I've gotten in these saves, but we don't need them. We don't need them all because we're going to be playing as a completely new character. Run of Giants? Sure. Let's have Run of Giants on. Let's go over uh, this one first. We'll play as Raki. Raki, the Kangaroon, the Kangaroon. There's always adventure to be found. Good with boomerangs. Prefers food stale. Unobservant to incoming threats. So, it's pretty cool. It's a pretty cool character. He's a he's a Kangaroon, whatever that is. It's some kind of crazy ass new animal. My love for adventure has finally taken me somewhere I can't escape. Was mom right all along? Might might have been. I'm reading off the mod page right now. We're going to take a look at his stats. His hunger is 150. His health is 150. And his sanity is 200. So it's pretty cool. It really is. He has some custom dialogue and stuff like that. He can make a shitload of boomerangs. A feather. Feather ring. Um, it requires science machine and all that shit. Uh, it's faster than a regular boomerang, which is pretty cool. Um... I'm gonna have trouble pronouncing some of these names. A Karotarang? <laughs> Is that even right? This boomerang has a perishing time instead of a durability. Huh. So I guess it just disappears after a while. A Slumberang makes targets fall asleep. Ah, that's pretty cool. Uh, a Batarang absorbs health from targets. A Batarang? I've heard that one before somewhere. A Catastarang? Holy shit. That sounds pretty interesting actually. Indicates when a hound or giant attack is about to happen. It is the strongest in times of danger. It is the strongest in times of danger. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, I had a little bit of trouble reading there for a second. Okay, we're going to get right in. We're going to apply. We're going to play as him. I just wanted to go over some of the stuff that we can actually use and do as um, our good old friend here. Mr. Racky himself. Mr. Racky. Fantastic. He's a cool character. He's a cool looking character and I can't wait to play as him. It's going to be interesting trying to build some of this stuff. And I still have the uh, mod work shop page open so I can actually see if um, I can be able to make this stuff. I'll try to make a feather ring I think. Which is faster than a regular boomerang. Which I'm terrible with boomerangs in the first place. Do I even start off with a boomerang? Holy shit I do. What is this? Adventure ring? What the fuck is that? What does that do? It does spear damage and lasts much longer than a regular boomerang. Holy shit. Okay, as I was just saying though, I am still pretty bad using the boomerangs. <laughs> the last time I used a boomerang in this game, I think I killed myself. Just about. What is this on the screen? Oh, it's just dust. Hold on. My monitor is very dirty. Is... Did Don't Starve get an update or something? Oh, I see. Unripe petals. It looked different. The green looked different. I think he likes to eat stuff when it's unripe the best, I believe, if I just read that correctly. So we have an adventure ring. Let's try to adventure ring this bird here. Come here, you bitch. That's right. Oh, I caught it. Holy shit. We got it. We got the bird. <laughs> oh, holy shit. Okay, so what we need to make... Oh, there's a trap up here. Holy shit. Give me. That's right. Give me that trap. Okay, we need a science machine to build one of our first boomerangs, which is pretty neat. And the boomerangs as we go... I think we need a science machine, then an alchemy engine, I believe, and then so on and so forth. Like, we just need to keep going up the ladder of machines we need to make to actually make a certain type of boomerang. But once we learn the boomerang, I think we'll be okay. We'll know exactly how to make it, and we won't need any of that shit anymore. We're gonna have to find some gold. We're gonna have to do the good old run around for all of the uh, natural resources that we need. We need some flint, we need some rock, we need some gold. Wherever the gold's going to be, I don't know. It might be in them hills somewhere. <laughs> There's gold in them hills. Is there any rocks up here at all? Drain? Johnson? Oh shit, look at this. Look at this over here. Holy tall birds. Oh look, this guy's got an axe. Let's go get the axe. There's some gold and shit. Oh, this is amazing. Oh fuck, they're coming after me. Oh shit! Run, Rocky! Run, Rocky the Cocoon! 
or Rakakoon, Kangakroon, whatever you, whatever you're supposed to be. Holy shit! <laughs> Let's grab this axe. Run! <laughs> We're on the move, buddy. Let's go. Follow the path. Oh, there's some flint. We need that. Oh shit! What's this over here? Okay, there's a little gnome in a box thing here. Perfect. Oh, what's going on over here? Holy shit! This is just full of excitement so far. Look at this. There's so much going on. I'm just trying to play as our new friend here, Racky. Holy shit, a fish just came out of that guy when he died. It's flopping around and everything. Oh, this is amazing. It's a pagan murloc fight, or merm fight. I call them murmlocs. Oh, shit. Here we go. We're picking up some ham. Oh, yeah. This is amazing. <laughs> I'm having so much fun. <laughs> we are playing on Reign of Giants, by the way, so I guess that makes sense. There's just crazy shit going on everywhere. And look, I can't even... I can't carry anything else. Can I eat this seed? That wasn't ready to be eaten. Oh, so do I have to wait for things to be ripe? I think that's what we need to do with this character. I think this character loves to eat everything when it's ripe. And I think if we cook it, it, it doesn't do just as good. It doesn't do us justice, I think. Okay, well, we have an axe. Do we have enough to make a science machine yet? No, we need one more log. Okay, so we're going to chop down this tree. How about that? Um, let me just see what we need exactly. Science machine, okay, yes. I'm just double checking and making sure what I need to make is what I need to make. Because, they you know, I do not want to mess up on this. Holy shit, okay, we're gonna plant this. We're gonna plant this pine cone right there. Perfect. We'll plant another one, too, right here. Should we go make camp by the, um, the pigs? Because I feel like that's pretty safe. I feel like that's a pretty safe area to make camp for right now. Oh shit, that bird just dropped a seed for me. I'm gonna eat it. Sorry! Sorry, Racky! Jeez, you're a picky motherfucker, aren't you? Oh shit! Okay, here we go. Look. We're gonna befriend some pigs, I think. I think that's probably our best bet here. We're gonna pick up some frog legs and some seeds. And, um... I think we should definitely have some pig friends. We'll, we'll have some pig friends, we'll make some boomerangs, and we'll have some fun. We'll have some laughs, too, I guess. Can we drop these petals? We don't need them. Okay. So how do we get things to be ripe? We just have to wait a little while. Where'd the pigs go? Holy shit! I'm all alone! I'm on my own! Racky's by himself picking up some ham. <laughs> These merms are going crazy on me. Bow, 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 bow. How are you gonna like my bird friends? Okay, so we can't go camp out where the pigs are. I don't even know where the pigs came from. Their houses were nowhere near where that merm village was or whatever it's called. <laughs> it's just a place where the merms were hanging out. Okay, I definitely do not want to spend my night in a cemetery because... You hear that noise? It's got like his own custom noises and everything. It's pretty nice. I like that. It's really detailed. I love it. Like I said before, I love it when um, a creator actually puts so much time into making a character for the game. It's really cool. Okay, I think we could probably make camp here and make our science machine. Quite possibly so. Do we have enough? I think we do. Can we build a fire pit? Okay, good. We have a fire pit now. We finally did it. Sorry for taking so long. I get easily distracted. Oh, shit. We need some rocks. Okay. We can grab some rocks before it gets too dark. And look, there's exactly the right amount around here that we need. Holy shit. Okay. I'm, I'm terribly sorry about that. <laughs> if you heard a faint dog barking in the distance right before uh, I just came back now, that was my dog. He was barking at something. Like dogs do. All of the time. Every single waking moment, they're awake. They're barking at something. <laughs> Enough about that. Okay, we're about to make a science machine, and a science machine we shall make. Boosh. We did it. Holy shit. Okay. So, we should be able to make it in fight? I'm assuming. Adventure ring? Which is another ring. A boomerang we can make. Look, I'm calling them rings now. I'm, like, using slang. Look, we're gonna build some rings. <laughs> it's like a weird... Like Billy Joel accent. We're gonna build some rings. We're gonna build some rings and flow them. Joe, <laughs> major, this is ground control. Okay, uh, enough talking about Billy Joel. Um, feather ring. Is that what we were going to make? Oh, we need the things to make the ring too. I thought I just needed to make a science machine and that was it. Holy shit, we need four stingers. Um, four crimson crimson. Feathers, I can't talk right now because I'm so stupid. Holy shit, jet feather. I was so concentrated on the science machine, I thought I'd be able to make it. Well, fuck. This will take forever for me to do. It really would. I have to be here all night trying to find this stuff. 
A carrot ring? Holy shit. Look at that. Four carrots, a rope, and some honey. That's amazing. Okay, what else? I don't think we can unlock anything else until we actually make an alchemy engine. Holy shit. I just wanted to check out this character real quick. I wasn't planning on being here all night trying to make every kind of boomerang there was. Holy shit. Could we get those feathers really quickly? How many feathers do we have? We don't have any. Okay, so... Well, this is just a good quick way to show off the mod in a little bit and the character himself, which is pretty cool. The feather ring, you know, we just need four uh, stingers from bees, and we need some crimson feathers from this guy, like, right here. Look, we're gonna go attack him. Oh, shit. Where's my boomerang? Okay. Adventure ring! Away! Okay, look, we gotta catch it. Oh, shit, we caught it. Look, there's another one. Whoosh! Oh, look, he caught it. Does he catch everything perfectly? Let's go check it out real quick before we leave Racky off. He's a really good character, is he not? Let's take a good look at him right here. Look at Racky. What a bastard. Okay, let's go attack those merms real quick with our boomerang. With our adventure ring! Racky loves adventure! Look, another bird. Whoosh! He catches boomerangs perfectly. You don't have to click on it when it's coming back. Holy shit. Okay, I can see how it could be really easy to get a bunch of feathers and stingers real quick. But, um, I don't see any beehives around here. Look. We'll get this bird. Oh, look. We got one feather. Look, we can't carry it, though, because I'm inept and I haven't built a backpack yet. <laughs> can we get this guy? Wham! Look, we got another feather. Holy shit. Okay, I can see how it couldn't take too, too long to actually make um, one of those cool uh, feather rings. Okay, let's try our boomerang. Let's take out these bastards first. Holy shit, one hit wonder. Whoa. Where is this bastard? Come here. Oh, bam. Bam. Bam, I got him right in the butt. Look, he's getting hit right in the butt. Yeah. Holy shit, we're on half health, but Racky's a badass. We took on those merms and killed them. Holy shit, this is a really cool character. I would play it for longer, but I'd feel like it would take me days upon days to make all the boomerangs. <laughs> but that is how you do it, though. You keep building, uh, upgrading engines and getting all the necessary materials to build all of the boomerangs, which one, two, three, four, five, six... It's currently six boomerangs, so that's pretty cool. It's pretty neat. Um, I definitely recommend playing as this character. I'd find it to be quite fun. Mmm. Delicious petals. <laughs> okay, well, for right now, we're going to leave off as Racky. It's a quick little look at the mod itself and the character. And it was a lot of fun. It really was. I had fun throwing boomerangs at people. Fuck, we missed. <laughs> look, we got to get one good one before we sign off. Bam! Yeah, <laughs> Racky the Raccoon. Racky the Raccoon has saved the day. Okay, thank you very much for watching. The links to uh, download the mod will be in the description as always. And I'll see you all next time.